What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Shop Talk Tuesday. Okay, so typically what these are all about is a commentary based type thing where I go over a viewer's comment or question, then we go into what we have working in the background that will either be making it into the videos or not making it into the videos. Then we go into a viewer's knife section where I talk about one of y'all's knives. Then we go into something in my shop that makes my life easier as a creator. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the format just a little bit because I'm doing all the daily vlogs. It's not really, you know, I, I talk about what I use in the shop on a daily basis that makes my life easier every single day. So we're going to kind of nix that one out of it unless I get something new in the shop. I will talk about that. Like I did end up getting a new little vice here that I really like. This little guy right there. I love this little thing because it has two different clamps on it. One that's really smooth and won't mar up surfaces and then one that does have grip to it. Love this little guy. This is going to be really cool because change all kinds of different angles. And uh, yeah, I'll be using that a lot. But back to what we were talking about. So on the future videos unless I get something new I really won't be talking about that section of this what we're gonna hit on is just viewers comments viewers knives uh, what we have working in the background stuff like that so that is what we're gonna focus on now so let's go ahead hit up the viewers uh, comments question type thing so right here we got a viewers question and uh, thank you for submitting this one so with this one they ask uh, what acid am I using? This was on the file knife, the military inspired file knife. So what acid am I using? And is there a link to access uh, any of my knife designs? So for one, thank you for uh, asking that question. This is going to be something that is really good to answer. Uh, for one, for my acid, I use a ferric chloride acid mixture. It's 50% uh, ferric chloride, 50% distilled water. And I keep it in this little guy right here. It doesn't eat through the plastic, so it's good to have it in here. I've had them in different size containers as I've gone about making knives. I, each time I make a bigger knife, I got to come up with a bigger container. So the last knife that I did that was a really good length, I had to come up with this little container. And this is just a marine uh like fuel oil mixing bottle for marine equipment so yeah from walmart you know what you get whenever you're just searching for stuff that's what you get um so that's what i use 50 percent ferric chloride 50 percent distilled water it works great uh at first whenever i was first using it i was just using a straight ferric chloride and that's it uh, looked up on some forums and things like that, found that mixture. It has worked perfectly since then, so that's what I use. Now, whenever it comes to my knife designs, so I don't really have any of them in PDF format or anything like that to be downloaded. I will eventually start doing that, but right now I don't have that system in place, primarily because most of the knives that I'm designing uh, it's the first time that that knife has been designed by me and I do a lot of things by hand I don't go in and do them on computer or anything like that so I don't really ever have PDF formats for it I might start scanning some of them in and get something set up for that in the future so that y'all can have access to those designs but as of right now I do not have that in place because I do a lot of stuff by hand and I don't really have the need for PDF files whenever I have that. So a lot of my designs I transfer straight over into uh, little wood pieces. I'm going to show you all exactly what I'm talking about here. So for a lot of my knives I put it on material like this so that I have them for future use. Like this is that military inspired file knife right here. I'll take all of my knife shapes, put them on this material, put them back here so that if I want to use them in the future, I can. So I really don't have use for PDF files, but I will eventually do that for y'all. Not so much for me, but for y'all. 
So again, thank you for asking that question. Now, let's go ahead, jump into what we have working in the background. And uh, I've got a bunch of stuff working in the background because we've got so many videos coming out that for one, the video that y'all saw yesterday is starting this one right here. Absolutely love this knife design, love this knife shape. I wanted something that was just a good all around knife that can be used for pretty much everything. That's this knife right here. I am gonna be making a few sets of these, but for right now, I'm fine tuning this one, getting it exactly how I want it so that I can then replicate it. So that's what we're working on right now with this. What we have coming up after that, I'm actually doing a, another little series where I'm taking some little knives. Now this is a scrap steel challenge. And it's not just a scrap steel challenge. It's a scrap knife completion challenge. So we've got three knives. They are the same little knife. They're just gonna be some real simple neck knives or if you wanna wear them on your waist, you can. You can. Uh, but these will have handle skills, everything like that. We are focusing on keeping consistency in mind with these. And that's what I'm gonna teach y'all with those. But these guys, the steel is just cut off pieces from other knives and all of the handle material is all scrap wood as well. So I'm gonna be making handle scales out of all of the scrap material. So these knives in their whole form will be all scrap cut off pieces that I just had laying in the shop. So I'm gonna make cool little knives out of stuff that typically people just would either throw away or not even think about keeping. Well, I kept all that stuff. I'm gonna make three little knives out of it. Now, one of the other things that I have coming up that I'm really excited about is a, a really big chopper. So I've been wanting to make a big, a big knife for a while. And this might not be as big as some people's knives that they make that are big knives. But for me, this is the largest knife that I've made or will make. And uh, I'm excited about this one. So it's going to be out of 5160. It's going to be my second knife made out of 5160. It's going to be out of this piece right here. And I'm doing a hammered finish on it. I'm doing this. It's going to be acid etched. It's going to be everything just like the last 5160 knife minus the Hamon. <clears throat> but this is going to be this. Little drop point recurve, 11 inch long, big old knife. That is going to be what that right here will be. Now, that's what we have coming up. And then I do have a lot more things coming up. I've got a collab with another YouTuber that I'm working on for his knives. Uh, I finished one of them up already. So this is one of the, the little knives that he does. I'm working on with him. And uh, this is just a nice little EDC. This is from PBO, Plant Based Outdoors. I'm working on a few different knives. I've got another one of those little EDC knives. And then I've got a really big knife that we're working on for him. Uh, these are oiled in the inside this tape so they don't rust or anything like that. But that's what we're working on for uh, him. And y'all will see that. I'll do a video maybe just a couple of videos and a little series about those particular things. Now, what I do want to talk about right now is the viewers knife section. So viewers knives, guys, thank y'all for sending me all those pictures. I am so happy about that. I've got a ton of videos. And like I said, I might end up doing a uh, little couple of videos just dedicated to y'all's knives. And yeah, I think that's gonna be cool. Keep sending them in. Again, I don't care if it's your first knife, 15th knife, 50th knife, or 500th knife. I would love to see it. And if you're a YouTuber, I would love to be able to shout out your channel and get people over there so they can check it out and see what you do. So thank you for that. Now, today's knife. This one is actually a really sleek, simple design, and I do like it. But right here, this is from Alan Benjamin. Now, this is... This particular knife, I, I like the way it's shaped, but what I want to talk about is the person itself. Uh, I have a lot of friends that are IT guys that 
uh, are also knife makers. And I don't know what it is about IT guys, but maybe y'all just spend all that time doing all your IT stuff that you have to go hammer some steel when it's all said and done. But I, I find it funny how many people are knife makers who are also IT guys. But yes, uh, Alan, thank you for sending this knife. Let's talk a little bit about it. For one, this knife was a birthday gift for his father. And uh, it was actually designed as a replica of his first knife that he had ever made. Now, the knife itself, uh, eighth inch thick, 1095, with uh, canary wood handle scales. And he did an acid etch with a little bit of sanding to be able to get the finish that he got. But absolutely beautiful, just nice, sleek, simple knife. But it's very crisp, the lines that were on that knife. And I really appreciate people who take the time to make something that would look simple be very smooth because you don't realize how much work goes into a knife to make it not have waves or ripples in it, especially the handle scales to make them nice, smooth, even, and crisp on the edges. That does take a lot of work, and I appreciate people who put that much work into what they make. Guys, uh, I want to talk about the giveaway that we have going on. So at 10,000 subscribers, I know it sounds like a lot because I'm still only at the 5,000-ish, almost 6,000 range, but at 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing an EDC giveaway. So it'll be an EDC bag, it'll be an EDC knife to go with the bag, that'll be knife, sheath, everything. It's going to be, there's going to be EDC stuff inside of it, like the EDC essentials, you know, little first aid kit, fire starter stuff, things like that. We're going to have that you're going to get the whole thing. So the winner of that giveaway will get that whole EDC bag, EDC knife, everything uh, shipped to them. And for this one, I am going to make it to where it's worldwide. <laughs> uh, if you're a subscriber of mine, it doesn't really matter where you live, I'll figure out a way to get that to you. So if you're in Russia, Germany, England, Japan, whatever it may be, uh, I will figure out a way to get you the actual thing. I know that in some countries they're weird about knives and stuff like that, so we'll figure out what we can do. If I can't send you a knife, I will still send you the EDC bag uh, and make up for it by making you something else other than the knife if your country will not let me ship you a knife. I don't see why they wouldn't, but just in case, I'm letting y'all know that. So I will get into more detail about how to enter the giveaway whenever we actually get to that point. But for right now, just know that 10,000 10, subscribers is the actual marker. And it's going to be an awesome giveaway. It's going to be something that y'all can use, toss in your bag, or toss in your car as just your EDC on the go bag, things like that. So be looking forward to that. And guys, that's pretty much the end of this one. You know, if you, if you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. You know, share this video so that we get more subscribers so we can hit that 10,000 mark or share one of my videos that I've done in the past that might be your favorite that you think people might be interested in. Guys, if you haven't yet, which is be surprising because most people who've watched these uh, videos, especially for the ones for the Shop Talk Tuesday, most of y'all already subscribed, but if you're not yet, bottom corner, hit the subscribe button so you get notified of whenever I actually make all these things that I was talking about today. And guys, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for checking this video out and spending time with me. Y'all have an amazing day, and I'll catch y'all next time.